Hello everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to give you guys a a uh, option strategy. I mean, you can, you can do this without options, but it's more powerful with options. Uh, I'm going to teach you the, it's the 13, you know, we're going to do stocks today. Uh, I'm going to show you how, now a lot of people when they're doing trading, they'll trade on the five minute to one minute. What I look for is more long term, long term gains. The, the, uh, now, before I begin, this is not financial advice. So do your own research. I'm just, this is just for entertainment purposes only. But uh, when you're doing this strategy, I'm, I'm talking specifically about those that want to do options. And a lot of people would trade on the one minute and the five minute. I trade on the hour because with the hour, uh, number one, you don't have to trade as much. All you have to do is look for a certain combination, but that could... This combination could hit in like once a week. So it, it won't happen as much as you know trading by the, the five minute. But if you trade by the hour, you probably, you know, not, not financial advice, will make more money doing it this way. Uh, so there's two steps to this process. And the first step is, you know, having the 1348 because that's my, uh, those are the top two indicators that I always have on because what I look for is what I look for is the cross between the 13 and the 48. And the only, the, uh, the third indicator that I load is the MACD. So what I'm going to do is teach you guys what to look for before you put in your option trade. So with with the 1348, what you have to look for is the cross. Either it's going to cross up or it's going to cross down. And right before it's always good that you you get in right before you know like maybe an hour or so before the cross happens so if you look at this example you'll see that there's a the, the 13 ema is crossing up and if we look down here if we look down here at the macd and the macd is the other one you would have to load before the cross happens right here down here with the MACD what you need to look for is the, the signal where it's crossing down here so you want to you uh, if you catch it right here that's good but if you catch it down here that's uh, even better so you'll, you'll make more gains if you catch it the tr uh, catch it right down here but what this will do right here the cross up here will kind of signal that it's it's going to go in that direction. So let's just give an example. So let's say you're you're watching you're watching the chart and you start to see. Let's get to this point right here. Down here on the MACD, you see it starting to cross up. You see this little blue starting to cross up. It it happens before it crosses up here. So if you were able to get in right here, you, you'll make more you'll make more with your options. So let's just see how how much you would how you how much you would make if, if you caught it down here before you know catching it up here. So let's just see if you caught this right here. So it would be from it'd be from here, and let's just say you wrote it out. And how you tell when to stop is. You, you look at the MACD on the bottom when it starts, when the blue line starts crossing down, you know you need to get out pretty soon. So you could have get you could have got out here or you could have got here. So for the sake of purposes, I would say you would got you got out right here. So if you caught the MACD when it crossed, that's a twenty dollar difference in price, which is about a thousand dollars doing spy with the options. So let's just do this example a couple more times. What you have to look for is two things. You have to look for the 1348 to cross up or down, and then you have to be early enough to catch it with the MACD too. So we see it crossing down right here. And what you would want to do is you want to get in a little bit early. You want to get in before this cross right here. 
So you on the MACD, you would look when it crosses on the MACD. When you, you, you'll see it first on the MACD, and then you'll start to see it crossing on the, the 1348. So when you see it cross, so you'll get your first indication with the MACD. So if you got in at this moment, which is a little bit, it was a couple hours earlier from when it actually crossed. So let's just say that you, let's just say you came in when the MACD crossed. So let's just see how much this would be. That's right about here. So you got in your option right about here. You did a 410 put. And let's just see, you wrote it out till it reached the bottom. That's, that's good enough. That's about 24, 25. So that's a little over, let's just do that math. Let's average it to 25, 25 times 50. It's around 1,200 bucks right there. So what you, what you can do with this kind of strategy is you can start scaling. Now, I, I'm, I don't, it's not financial advice, you know, uh, as your gains grow, you can buy more contracts. So uh, what I'm going to go over is kind of a compounding strategy here pretty soon. But let's just look. Uh, this is why I do it on the hour. So because it happens pretty consistently. So if you notice up here with the 1348, you see the it's crossing right here, but. If you look on the MACD, it happens, that signal happens before the cross on the 1348. You'll see that it actually crosses right around here. So you'll get in a little bit more early with your with your option trade. And maybe, maybe that the, that option will actually be at a cheaper price if you get in a little earlier. So if you got in right down here in the bottom. Let's just say you did your you did your call for 390, and then you just wrote it out till you see where the MACD is crossing down. That's when you would most likely get out. So that is a 21 dollar difference in price. That's about a thousand bucks with uh, uh, doing uh, options with spy. So let's look at a couple more examples and show you how kind of. Now this doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time. So what you really have to do, and I'm gonna talk about this at the end. I'm gonna do it two more times. I'm gonna talk about uh, kind of a strategy. So right up here at the top, we see the 1348 crossing. So what you wanna ask is the signal there before it crosses on the 1348. And you see it happen right here. So yeah, it happens earlier. So if you got in earlier, which was right here on the MACD, so if you got here and you wrote it out, wrote it out to the bottom, let's just go right down here. It's my screen, we'll record it. Okay, so that's 18, so that's an average around, that's about another $1,000 right there. So let's just do this another time, one more time, just show you, I think you guys get the idea. You want to look for the cross. Well, the, the first thing that you're going to probably do is look at the MACD because the MACD will give you it will give you the first signal, and then after the MACD gives the signal, it should appear with the 1348. So let's just look and see if we can find a cross. There we go. The 1348 has a cross of a call right here. And we can see on the MACD that it ha that it uh, it picks it up a little bit early. So let's just say right here you want you started your your call. And let's just zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so on the bottom there you'll see that it crosses up before the 1348. So let's just say you got around here. And you, you wrote all this out, and that's about twenty three fifty two. Twenty three fifty two times fifty, that's yeah, about eleven hundred bucks. So, I use this strategy as a way, and like I said at the beginning of this video, I only do the hour because if you focus on 
we, we saw the profit of doing it on the hour, but if you did the, like the five minute, it works the same way, but you, your gains, I mean, you could do the five minute if you want to, but your gains won't be, I mean, you, this is, if you do it on the five minute, you could probably uh, get away with uh, doing this three times a week. But if you do it by the hour, you're going to be waiting once a week or something like that. It all depends. But let's just look for example on the five minute here. The same thing happens with the five minute, but your, your gains will not be as as much as doing it with the five minute or the one minute. So you see that 1348, This I'm on the five minute now. You see that the cross happens right here and you see the and you'll see that the cross point happens on the MACD right about here. So yeah, it does happen a little bit before. So let's just see. Let's just see. Yeah, this one's it's a tiny one. So this your gains won't be as much. But with doing it on a five minute, you you'll get more gains daily, but they won't be as much. So anyway, the cross happened right around there. So let's say you did a 359 uh, call, wrote, wrote it out, let's say to right about, yeah, right about here. So that is a, that's a 5.58, 5.58 times 50. So you could make probably around, now this is not financial advice, so I'm just pointing out numbers here, but with this, you could probably make around 60 which I have made before, 60 to $70, to 200 like 200 to maybe $500 a day. Well, not a day, but if you catch this. If you do this on the five-minute, you, you're more than likely to catch it daily. But if you did it on the hour, you, you'll have, you know, there's pros and cons for both. But if you did this on if you did this on the hour, you'll have to wait longer for the you know the cross to happen. I prefer waiting do, doing it on the hour because your gains will be a lot more uh, like like you'll, you see right here. Would you rather make now, now this is all personal preference doing options, but if you did this strategy, would you rather want to make 250 to 500 in options like three times a week or would you want to make it or would you want to make something like this which is you know crosses here you'll see it cross down there so if you got in here got in here and you rode this out this is about a thousand bucks in five days so thousand bucks in five days or 250 for three days maybe uh, just throwing some numbers out there so you seem like you would make more doing it by the hour and if you do it by the hour you'll make more gains uh, not, not financial advice but this is just from the data uh, you'll make more gains and you can scale it a lot faster if you just wait on doing it with the hour uh, to me I like I prefer doing it with the hour but anyway, this is kind of uh, the strategy that I use. You can kind of use this and scale if you want. Everything is up to you, not financial advice. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.